Nostalgia, you know, one has to just see the outpouring of love and respect that the cricketing world, not just India, the cricketing world showed for Mr. Dalmia. Ian Chappell, you know, a guy who is renowned for his sort of hatred or dislike for administrators, came out and, you know, showed his uh, great respect for Mr. Dalmia. That itself shows how exceptional Dalmia was as an administrator. A lot of people think that cricketers should be managing the sport, but I disagree. I think with the administration and management of a sport, what you need is good managers, good administrators. And when it comes to cricket, I think good administrators with a cricketing heart, I think that is crucial and that is what Mr. Dalmia was. He was an administrator with a cricketing heart, genuine love for cricket. In a time when one day cricket was a very popular format, raking in all the, you know, uh, revenues and making the sport rich. Dalmia still wanted Test cricket to be in the forefront. If you remember the Asian Test Championship that was held, it didn't carry on for too long, but that just shows how Mr. Dalmia thought about the sport. When one day cricket was popular, he wanted Test cricket to, to still have its place in the scheme of things, and we had one of the best test matches on this round, which is part of an Asian Test Championship, which was a dream of Mr. Dalmia. And at that time, it just showed that he had this true sort of love for the game and his conscience was sort of attached to the sport. The other thing about Dalmia that I've always liked, and that's why I'm here in Kolkata today, is that he was nice to people that he didn't need to be nice to. Very often we are kind and we are very cordial with people that we need to be cordial with. Mr. Dalmia wasn't like that. Arunlal told me once that every time he would enter Mr. Dalmia's office here in the CAB, Mr. Dalmia from behind the table would come and receive Arunlal at the, at the door of his office. And that is something that he didn't need to do because he was a very powerful, influential man. But he was nice to people who were people who were also not really as powerful and influential. So that was where he was quite unique. It's a, it's a great loss. I lost my father at the age of 17, so I know how Abhishek must be feeling the family. So at this moment, all I can do is in my very humble way, uh, just pray to the Almighty that gives strength to the family to bear this uh, irreparable loss. It's only fitting, perhaps, that uh, Saurav Gamuli, who in many ways was a protege of Jagmoh Dalme, is now taking over the reins. And I hope he keeps Mr. Dalme as a model and becomes a good manager of the sport. We know that he knows the sport better than a lot of us. So I wish him all the best as he takes over the reins and hope that he can take Indian cricket to newer heights. And thank you very much for this opportunity. And lastly, I wish the family all the best and uh, hope to see you guys in a slightly happier atmosphere. Thank you very much.